couple of basement cars. Jill accidentally broke ours while well, she was locked out of the house, so she didn't have much of a choice. But, yeah. I'll try and look around and really get to experiment and see if I can do this without killing myself. Okay, so I got the glass and the cutter and some other junk that I'm going to be able to use to hopefully fix this window without having to hopefully make a return trip because I'm really hoping I don't break it but um well, well the lady that I was that checked me out was really nice uh, very helpful the guy that helped me find the glass and everything else was less than helpful he pointed like he pointed it out to me where the glass was but then I started asking him questions because obviously I have no experience in glass cutting or replacing windows and he acted like I was inconveniencing him by asking him questions so I actually got a survey um, with my receipt and I'm gonna go on and do that and I'm gonna comment you know about how the lady was very nice but the guy back there I should have gotten his name but I didn't really needs to work on his customer service skills so yeah anyway on to home all right back home and I see exactly what Jill was talking about see the newspaper there yeah that's sucky Eesh. that could hurt a little bit Okay, got a few possibilities here. One, that has to come out because I have to take the window or the broken window out. Problem is that when I take that off, it's going to get really, really cold in here really quick because I think it's right now maybe eight degrees outside and even lower with the wind chill. So um, I have a few options. I have uh, this little cabinet door, um, these plastic tops which don't cover very well um, maybe some cardboard here or there but whatever happens it's going to get cold and I'm not going to be able to stop it very well so I need to get this job done fast <sighs> ah it's cold <laughs> I don't think I've ever loved kitty litter so much or Arm and Hammer. It's beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. And there's still cold air coming out of it, but there's not as much. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, that's work. It's time for... Science! Get out of that way. Oh, and by the way, kids, you should be wearing safety glasses, which I have, and I'm going to get right now. Because I'm an idiot. Prescription glasses! Safety glasses! Also for use in gun on, on gun ranges. Science. Gloves. Right. Wow, I suck at this. I'm just gonna stop recording while I'm doing this and I'll update as I go along because I'm never gonna get done at this rate. Okay, one thing real quick. While I'm going over this and trying to get the glass out. Would you look at this? I have no idea what they used, if it was goop or what, but this stuff is freaking cement. There are pieces of glass in here that are going to be insane to just try and get out. <sighs> While I'm finishing up this window, I just wanted to show any of you that like parody music like uh, Weird Al Yankovic. If you go on YouTube, there is this uh, channel called Key of Awesome, 
that is really good. They do a lot of parodies. Uh, the one I'm listening to right now is a... Uh, it's a parody of Adam Lambert's song. And uh, give it a look. It's really nice. And, well, I like it a lot. I have the channel looping so that I can listen to the different music while I, you know, risk cutting myself and dying. <laughs> It's another piece of the Triforce. Soon it will be complete. And then I will be able to become Ganon. Ganondorf and capture that Zelda. Yes. Oh, I have a headache. So, on the list of annoying things about uh, trying to fix this window, I have the glass cutter here. And for one, well, according to what was written on the glass, I should have some sort of glass cutting foil, which I don't have, so hopefully that doesn't mean I'm going to shoot into a ball of flames and just have glass shards fly all over me when I do this. But also, let's see, important, never cut a piece of glass with a brand new cutter. In order to break in a cutting wheel, take a piece of scrap glass and run your cutter over it at least ten times until you hear a constant cutting noise throughout each cut. So, in order to use a glass cutter, you have to break it in. Ugh. <sighs> uh. That is poorly done. <sighs> well, let's hope it's at least straight enough for the window. Having a little dinner. Hi, buddy. You already had your dinner, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Hug. That's my boy. That's my good boy. Yes. Yes. Where's my little Dobby? Where's my little Dobby? Yes. <laughs> Teacher says always measure twice and then and then cut. Well, I measure I measure three times. Yeah, I was, I was gonna I was gonna do four to make it look kind of ironic to make me look retarded, well more so. But um, if I did that, then I would drop that measuring tape, and that would be even stupider. So yeah. <sighs> Fail. Was cutting this side, and it was going really well, and then. When I broke off the glass, got this segment right here, and another segment that was right here. And when I got broke it off, this beautiful crack broke all the way down the freaking glass. I cannot describe how pissed off I am right now. <laughs>